Funding cuts in the recession have created some hard times for a lot of actors. But somehow a professional theater in a small Minnesota town is still thriving. Lanesboro, population 754, is home to the Commonwealth Theater, which is just starting a new season. Tonight, Mike Binkley shows us the unusual business model that keeps the stage alive as we go Finding Minnesota. It may be the fact that Lanesboro sits in the middle of these beautiful bluffs or along the scenic Root River that keeps tourists coming back for more. But whether they're here for the fishing or the shops or the bed and breakfast, many of them are also taking in a show. Yeah, that's a word we don't use a lot back on the ranch. <sighs> because of you, a woman died. The Commonweal Theater will put on more than 170 performances this year. Yeah, that's exactly what I want. Yeah. Many of these professional actors have moved here from other states to make Lanesboro their home. Theaters like this one are really a dying breed of where you can really plant roots in the community and stay for as long as as long as you want to. They know they can count on a paycheck here because along with their work on stage. So I've got you down for one ticket May 6th. They're also running the place. A post, a tweet goes out from the theater at least at least once every day. The performers are the ones who take care of marketing, managing the facilities, even selling concessions. I love it because I know so many actors that have to have other jobs, other day jobs or wait tables to make it possible for them to act. And for us, we we get to put our energies into the company. It's a theater company with close ties to the community. I've always thought that this is gonna be fabulous in about 150 years when people walk in and go, what is that? The building is decorated with items reclaimed from this area as a tribute to those who buy the tickets. The community is very important to all of us who live and work here. Otherwise, we probably wouldn't be here. They've even reclaimed something from the Twin Cities. Recognize these seats? They're from the old Guthrie Theater in Minneapolis. Did you do it because you were bad from the start and I couldn't see? It's also very intimate. No seats further than 30 feet from the stage. It feels like the story is in your lap. Did you hope I'd come back someday? It's an intimate setting from actors who are personally invested. I wasn't looking to get famous. I wasn't looking to make money. I was just looking to make a stable life in this business. The Commonweal Theater is now gearing up for its 15th annual Ibsen Festival. It's a tribute to Norwegian playwright Henrik Ibsen. The show Pillars of Society opens this Friday. And if you'd like more information, we do have a link set up on our website. Just go to wcco.com slash links.